We've known for quite some time that fasting and calorie restriction as a whole extends lifespan. While most of the studies are done in non-humans, we have data at least indicating that this is also true for humans, even if we can't deprive grandma of food for 10 years to see if she'll outlive the other grandmas on the block. And don't get any ideas. But recently, it's been shown that a single nutrient actually mimics fasting and long-term calorie restriction without even needing to restrict calories. In fact, quite the opposite as shown here. Don't worry, there isn't much to this. This is a measure of food consumption. If the bars are higher, that means more food was consumed. I'm only interested in showing you the far left bar in red and the far right bar in orange. The far left is the calorie restricted condition and the calorie restriction was accomplished through fasting. The far right bar is the group that consumed the nutrient. Clearly the nutrient group consumed a lot more food. And I'll go ahead and tell you that they weighed more too. Not more than normal, but more than the calorie restricted group, the fasting group. And since protein is also an area of heavy study in relation to longevity, I'll tell you now that they consumed more protein too. The nutrient I'm talking about is dietary fiber. Now, when researchers compared the liver gene signatures, meaning these genes related to longevity are upregulated or read more, or downregulated, read less, among animals fasted and calorie restricted versus those on a normal diet versus those fed dietary fiber, they discovered an intriguing pattern. Now, I realize this looks like a lot, but it's uh, simple to read. All you have to do is look at the similarities in color. The more blue, the less those genes are red or expressed. And if it's red, those genes are expressed or red more. I'll even create boxes for you so that you can uh, focus on each grouping of genes. The CR is the calorie restricted, so the fasting condition. The RD is the regular diet, the control condition. And the only other one that we're interested in is the CF30M there. If you compare the colors, so the gene signatures, the facet condition and that fiber condition are far more similar, with blue up top and red down below, while the regular diet, the control, is the opposite. So we're seeing the mimicry of the fiber diet mimicking the anti-aging, longevity-proven calorie restriction and fasting. The takeaway is that a high fiber diet mimics the longevity signatures of fasting and calorie restriction although no calorie restriction or fasting is occurring. Pretty incredible. Now, the discoveries here are fascinating, but there are a few things to consider here. For one, there aren't any actual longevity measurements made. So other studies have actually looked at longevity, but that's missing from this study. I go over uh, some functional measurements on muscle as well as insulin resistance and even hair graying in my full analysis, which is in the extended video and article exclusive for the Physionic Insiders if you're interested. The link to join is in the des description. And you also also get all these perks right here if you uh, want to discuss it with me in live sessions or with uh, the community there. Even with these measurements though, there's no actual survival data measuring longevity outright. Other questions that I have beyond the fact that these measurements are in animals is if these similarities in gene signatures between the fiber and fasting, so the calorie restricted group, continue over time. Because these measures are made over a short period of time. Now, a month, which for mice is a long time, but I'd want to see more. But while we may not have a head-to-head -head comparison in humans like we're looking at here, one, this kind of study over a few months could be done in humans. But beyond that, we have overwhelming evidence that fiber does protect against mortality. So is it much of a gamble to prioritize fiber consumption? Probably not, unless you have gastrointestinal issues or some other relatively niche reason not to. Now, while I would like to see more, there are a few things that we could take away from this. One, clearly a fiber-rich diet has parallels to a calorie-restricted diet and fasting without even needing to cut calories or fast, which is pretty remarkable when you think about it. These data haven't been directly compared in humans yet and may not be a complete replacement, but it opens the possibility. And two, high fiber diets consistently show benefits in humans in relation to reducing mortality risk. So, 
this may be yet another way that we're seeing that manifest. So if your fiber consumption is low and you don't have any other reason that you can't consume fiber, this is another reminder to pay attention to your fiber consumption. In fact, if you need even more guidance and more encouragement, I cover a lot of the protective effects of fiber right here. Thanks for tuning in. I'll speak with you soon.